I killed those two kids. I've done this show 10 times, but the first two times, you know, the first time I was prison guard number one and, and covering Owen Hart, and the second time I was a motorcycle cop. So I, I understand the score very well, and it, would al it was always there in me, you know, because once you see this show, forever changes your perception of what you can do with opera. And that's what it did to me in Cincinnati. When the first time I did it, I thought, because I had been growing up, you know, when I came up into the opera world, you know, it, there was not that much contemporary opera. I mean, if you were, were to say, name a contemporary opera, they'd go, oh, well, Susanna. Well, that was back in the 70s and 80s. It's so old. You know, it's not a, not a new thing. So it planted this seed in me that just grew and grew. And I knew when I, when I was, you know, prison guard number one, uh, you know, being from Cut and Shoot, Texas, which is, you know, not, not real far from Louisiana, and I've got... Cajun folks in my family, and I grew up around Cajun folks. Used to go uh, raccoon hunting with a buddy of mine who, from, his grandpa was Cajun. He's but you know I knew these people. I know Joseph. I know I know all the uh, you know, the guy is not a stranger to me. I grew up around all kind of Josephs. I went to school with Josephs. I got picked on by Josephs. And so the first time I saw it being done, I thought, yeah, it's that I can tell this story. Of course, I was a child. <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't have told it then. But I knew that, I, you know, that, that it was in my future at some point, and I, and I began to even offer the aria in auditions because I really wanted to do that role. That's what, what began sort of my arrival into not only Dead Man Walking, but into this repertoire, which I loved, just never had a chance to do. And being able to have some success at Joseph meant that I got access to other projects like Glory Denied and Everest and Three Decembers and Out of Darkness and all these other projects that really, you know, helped define who I was as an artist. That also gave me an entry into the standard rep, which I hadn't had before. You know, I was able to, I got, was able to do roles like Rigoletto and Scarpia and Jack Rance and DeLuna and all these roles that I've been dreaming about doing. I really don't think I would have had the opportunity to do them were it not for this weird, contemporary, crazy stuff that's now pretty, pretty normal. You know, like Dead Man Walking today isn't something that's mind blowing for a company to program. It just seems pretty, pretty natural, easy choice. <laughs> What's interesting is, you know, from the time that I did this show the first time, which is back in the early 2000s, 2003 or 4, when I was a prison guard, right? Attitudes about the death penalty have changed dramatically. And that's kind of what the point of the show was. The point of the book. I can tell you what you shouldn't expect. You shouldn't expect to come in here and get preached to. That is not why we're here. This show is not even about the death penalty. The show is about forgiveness. The show is about redemption. The show is about seeing people in our society as human beings who are fallible, who make mistakes. What I think this show does more than anything is it allows us to see the humanity in everyone and let that humanity resonate with all of us. That's every single character in this show. What we're crying out to do is say, see me. See my pain. See my joy. But see me. Don't discard me.